Hello, hello, I'm Sasha of Sasha Mice Cards, and today I'm here with Chibitronics sharing how I made this super easy yet fun light up card with multiple lights in the circuit. Now, since this video is about how to make the circuit and how to make the card itself light up, I've already went ahead and created a background for my card today. To create my card, I used the Big Hugs stamp set from Simon Hurley, as well as a push here button from the push here stamp set from Lawn Fawn. Now, although I've already gone ahead and made the background, I have to very quickly prepare it. To do this, I use this little hole punch here. I believe it's actually made for leather. I'm not entirely sure. I just bought it online as it works perfectly for this. And I punched three holes on my card background where the fireworks are. Now on this card, I have three fireworks in three different colors. So I punched a hole in the middle of each firework so that the light can shine through on the finished card. I then went ahead and placed some markings onto the card itself where I'm gonna be building the circuit based on the lights and the buttons and where everything is going to go. To do this, I simply use a ruler and a pencil. Now, before I start building the circuit itself, I have to place down my battery holder. Today, I decided just to use a scrap piece of paper as my battery holder. However, you can also use the foam adhesive pack from Chibitronics and We Are Makers, which includes a self-adhesive battery holder in the pack. Since I am just using a scrap piece of cardstock folded over to form my battery holder, I use some liquid adhesive to glue my battery holder on top of where the push here button will be. I then took out my Chibitronics craft stencil and started creating the outline of my circuit. Although you don't have to do this step, this process makes it very easy when it comes to laying down the conductive fabric tape and your LED stickers to make the circuit itself. Without the guidelines, you may end up with an incorrect non-functioning circuit, which of course will be really sad if you go to give the card to somebody and it doesn't light up. To use the craft stencil, I first placed down the markings indicating the LED stickers over the markings I measured out earlier. From there, I then used the straight edge of the stencil to act as a ruler to draw my circuit. Now, since this is a bit more of a complex circuit involving three lights rather than one, as you are sketching the circuit, make sure that there is a positive side and a negative side, and that each side of the LED sticker aligns with the positive and negative sides of the circuit. Once the circuit has been sketched out using the craft stencil, we can then move on to placing down the conductive fabric tape. Since we have already sketched out the circuit, this step is as easy as can be as you are simply following the lines you have already sketched out. Once we are ready, we can then place the LED stickers. Now, since I have created some red, yellow, and blue fireworks, I decided to go with some colored LED stickers for today's card using red, yellow, and blue stickers. I placed those stickers onto their coordinating spots to match the fireworks and then took a three volt battery, placed it inside of the battery holder to test the circuit. Once everything is working as it should be, I can then start using the foam tape to officially finish everything off. If you do not have colored LED stickers, but you would like your project to feature colored lights, I shared a little trick in my last video that I shared on the Chibitronics channel, where all you have to do is place a piece of scotch tape over a regular white LED sticker, color it using some kind of marker. I like to use Sharpie markers, and then the light will become a colored light. If you want to see this in a little more detail and see what it actually looks like in action, feel free to check out the last video I shared. I will leave the link in the description below. As I am creating the battery holder using the foam tape, you will see me here using two layers of foam tape, and this is simply to accommodate the height of the battery. Because I am using two layers of foam tape around the battery, I then have to use two layers of foam tape going around the whole perimeter of the card. However, even with the two layers of foam tape, the card is still super flat and very easy to mail.
after you've placed all of the foam tape, the last step to do is to place the background onto the card base. I like to add a little bit of liquid adhesive glue on top of the foam tape so you have a little bit of wiggle room when placing the card background. And that is the completed light up card project. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and the little tutorial on how to create a three light circuit for your cards. Be sure to check out the description below for a list of the products I used to create today's card, as well as links to my social media and the Chibitronic social media. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.